There is something glorious in witnessing those whose fate seems almost sealed, pulling themselves back from the brink of defeat. And when it comes to bouncing back from impossible situations, Sakuraba is almost unmatched. As long as he is not completely unconscious, he has a fighter's chance. It only takes a split second for a natural-born finisher to turn the tables and win. However, past a certain point, it's on the hands of the referee, who walks a fine line between giving fighters the benefit of the doubt and protecting them from potential irreparable damage. For an experienced referee, even more variables might be at play. Your goal is to stop it right on time, but it takes a lot of hard work to get to that point. Depending upon the history of the fighter, you know, their ability to come back and, you know, you got to make that subjective determination right away. In today's video, three times Sakuraba rose from the dead. Dream 12. On the next two cases, the referees chose to give Sakuraba more leeway to stay in the fight. While most would argue health-wise they didn't do him any favors, and they might be right, it's no task for the common man to understand the mindset of a warrior who is set on coming back with his shield. Or on it. October 25, 2009, Osaka, Japan. Pride FC's successor, Dream, held Dream 12, Cage of Dreams. It was the first time they used a cage. Some of the prominent fighters on the card were Alastair Overeem, Eddie Alvarez, and Sakuraba, who got confirmed one week out from the event, which may be the reason why we don't see him in the poster. Sakuraba's opponent was Croatian fighter Zelg Galasek, 10 years his junior. Sakuraba wastes no time going for one of his patented low singles. Once at floor level, the catch wrestler rips at Galasek's leg, who turns right away, goes for Sakuraba's back, and secures a better angle to strike. Sakuraba responds by elevating, which serves him momentarily, as Galasek manages to hook his foot with his own free leg, levering himself once again to a better striking angle. Galasek unleashes on Sakuraba, blasting him 20 times to the head, until Sakuraba makes a failed attempt to roll. He gets hit 10 more times until he decides to use his hand to cover his head. The commentators assume Sakuraba is done. 11 more hits of this brutal attack and Sakuraba stops covering his head and pauses for a split second. Is he going unconscious or on an uncertain leap to glory? The pro wrestler has done it. The emotion in his face describes the magnitude of his struggle. K1, Heroes 6. August 5th, 2006, Tokyo, Japan. This was a stocked card that included Don Fry, Akiyama, Jay-Z Cavacante, Semi Shield, Melvin Manhoff, and two Gracies among others. Sakuraba and Lithuanian fighter Kastuches Smarnovas was the main event. Sakuraba walked in paying homage to his childhood hero, Tiger Mask. This fight was part of the quarterfinals of the Heroes Light Heavyweight Grand Prix. Sakuraba starts aggressive on his feet. Just the previous year, he spent time improving his striking at the Chute Box Academy in Brazil. At only 40 seconds of the first round, he gets dropped. Smirnovas rushes to finish and lands several power shots that seemed enough for some referees to stop the fight. The assault goes on as Sakuraba tries to go for a single leg but continues absorbing punishment. He is unsuccessful. It's fair to say at this point, Sakuraba is not defending himself. After what feels like an eternity, he somehow gathers the strength to get up. Sakuraba is still on wobbly legs. What comes next is one of the most sublime comebacks in MMA history. Sakuraba sees weakness and forgets all about his own pain and exhaustion, overwhelming the Lithuanian with his striking. Once on the ground, he finishes with a classic catch wrestling armbar as the audience goes wild.
Ultimate Japan. December 21st, 1997, Yokohama, Japan. Ultimate Japan, also known as UFC 15.5, was the first UFC event held in the Asian country. The card featured a heavyweight championship, the inaugural UFC Light Heavyweight Championship, and the 20th UFC Heavyweight Tournament. Victor Belfort also fought and won in this event. Sakuraba entered the tournament last minute to replace fellow catch wrestler Hiramitsu Kenhara, who suffered an injury. Sakuraba faced Marcus Conan Silveira, a Carlson Gracie black belt, and Vitor Belfort's teammate, who outweighed him by 37 pounds. Sakuraba rushes for the takedown. Once on the ground, Conan goes for Sakuraba's leg, which allows him to go back to his feet and land a takedown of his own. After a quick scramble, Conan pressures Sakuraba against the cage and unloads several strikes. It's at this point that Big John McCarty makes the biggest mistake of his career. As you'll see in a moment, Big John McCarty mistakes Sakuraba dropping down to a low single leg with dropping as a result of the punishment and stops the fight. Either McCarty missed it or didn't understand what he saw. We see a confused Sakuraba in disbelief of what's going on. Sakuraba is rightfully upset and tries to grab Bruce Buffer's mic. Early stoppages bring frustration to everyone involved, but this is not even an early stoppage. This is clearly a mistake. While this, unlike the previous instances, is not a case of Sakuraba getting absolutely mauled and coming back. It's a case of lost hope. This time, he was not just in the jaws of defeat. This time, it was over. The fight was declared a no contest. And just like that, he was granted a shot at immediate vindication. The fighter who won the other semifinal, Tank Abbott, broke his hand and was unable to continue to the final. So Conan and Sakuraba had the opportunity to continue where they left off, and this time, fight for the tournament championship. Both fighters go on the offensive, and Conan gets the takedown. Sakuraba locks a double wrist lock, loses it, but gets back to his feet and scores a single leg takedown. Conan gets a double wrist lock of his own, which Sakuraba uses to pass and get his own armbar. Sakuraba earns the title of 20th UFC Heavyweight Tournament Champion and the microphone. Don't forget to check out the new Brazilian Luta Livre t-shirt from Gotch Fightwear. The links are in the description or visit gotchfightwear.com. This video was produced by Didos and the World Submission Wrestling Federation. Join the World Submission Wrestling Federation. Visit our official website at submissionwrestlingarts.com.